What's up, YouTube Hot Wheels friends? I'm a microphone here. So, uh, I had to make a stop today. I was looking for uh, the oh-so-elusive ice for work today. So, all the convenience stores, when you're trying to find uh, stuff, is like impossible right now because everyone's going crazy trying to find gas and whatnot after the hurricane because um, everyone's trying to run their generators and ice is one of the other difficult things to find so I figured being I can't find any at the uh, convenience stores try to think outside the box and go to a, a, a target and see if uh, maybe they got ice so they didn't have anything in there but as you guys know you got to go check out those hot wheels so I took a peek over there, and there was actually already a collector in the aisle. And he had a whole bunch of premiums laid out, all of them off the pegs. And he was going through them, and I was like, so uh, these are cool. Are you getting all of them? He says, no, man, no. I was like, cool, because I'd like to have a set. So I grabbed the set, and this is a set that I've seen uh, on other channels before. I guess premiering them before they actually came out and I just scored them today and I was sort of interested in them and I guess I you could say that is for for premiums they're like eh, but the cars are awesome so I found the latest Fast and Furious set um, I think we've probably seen this set before um, being that I got back in the Hot Wheels now, I don't have any of them. I believe I probably had this one before, and I know I've got this one in an ID somewhere. Um, this is sort of like my favorite, I would have to say, just because it's the OG. The Super's pretty cool, but this one. But all the cars, I like them. Eh, the Acura is okay. But I'll go over the set, and then I'll show you what I find uh, a little bit interesting about it. Uh, this one I wish I actually could have found doubles of. Because I'd like to keep the set. But I've also want to customize one. And I've been looking for a uh, this particular body style. Of the R33. Which actually is my favorite body style. I know the R34 is the, the most popular. But like I said before in a previous video, I wanted to make one of those Calsonic style. And this is the one that you need to do that. So, I don't know. Kind of up in the air what I might do with this one. But yeah. And then, probably one of my favorites out of the set. Better light there. It's a good looking body style. I think they actually got the wing as a separate piece on this. I don't think that it's metal. Or it could be metal, just a separate piece. It, it really looks like it's a separate piece and it really looks plastic. <laughs> so I'm not 100% sure, but I'm gonna say plastic. So there's those two. You see a, uh, a common thing going on here. This is what I was going to talk about with this set. Uh, 240SX S14. Awesome body style. I love JDM stuff. This is a great looking body style here. It's going to be hard to leave these alone. But I might just pick a couple apart and customize them. This one I was actually able to get one extra of. Actually, I think the other collector, I think he did grab all of them. Because I went back to make sure I grabbed all of them. And I didn't. I grabbed these four and I was getting ready to, to walk out with them. And realized, wait a minute. There's five to a set. I forgot this one. I'd say it's probably the weakest out of the bunch. It's not terrible looking. The 
2017 Acura NSX. But what I was wondering about this set was how somewhat boring the wheels were. You know? They didn't get too flashy with the wheels. So what I did was I grabbed a couple other sets that I had put away. I got the Mountain Drifters there. Um, you know, like, this is a previous Fast and Furious set. Pontiac Firebird here. Great looking wheels. Great looking casting. Nice little combination there. Changed up the color a little bit. Different wheels here on this uh, Nova. You know? The Charger. Looks great. I really like those wheels. You don't find those wheels often. I like these wheels because they're, they're almost universal. You can go JDM. You can go American Muscle with them. They're a, they're a favorite of mine. This is probably the best looking one I think they've ever made as far as the, the lightning goes. That one's perfect. I've seen a few different models of the lightning and uh, this is probably my favorite one of, out of the bunch. And then the awesome G-Body. Uh, the Buick Regal. But as you can see in this set, they had some fun with the wheels there. And it's uh, very effective. It looks very nice. You know, again, with these wheels being all black. They're not terrible wheels, but, you know, they could have changed it up with the colors a little bit. By the way, I know this color is supposed to be gold, but to me, I just see beige. But, they're not bad. And then, you've got the Mountain Drifter set, which is, you know, great looking set. This is actually one of my favorites out of the set. The Liberty Walk Silhouette Skyline. The NSX Type R. Even the Celica looks great with those wheels. And the 3000 GT VR4 looks great. But what I was thinking... Was you know how they've come out with... Well, I guess we can find out in the... In the, the, the the next coming sets, but you know how they, they came out with the, uh, was it the, the RLC, the real rider packs where you can, uh, switch out your own wheels and how many do you get in the set? Five, five to a car culture or Boulevard set or whatever. It, it almost is. It's almost like maybe they they gave you these plain wheels so you can buy the wheels and switch them out yourselves. I don't know. That's For some reason, that's just what jumped in my head when I saw these wheels and how boring they went with this set. It just so happens that I really like these uh, castings. So either way, these are good for customs one way or another. Uh, even though I, I kept the set, like I said, I grabbed an extra one of these. You can't go wrong with this one. Like I said, I'd like to find another R33, but I might just crack this one because there's been so many Fast and Furious sets anyway. But it's not a bad looking set. Um, I just thought it'd be interesting to show you guys because I found that and that was new. And it's not too often that I'm able to uh, get lucky enough to find premiums. As far as uh, main lines go on the pegs, I think somebody already got to them. Either that or the this recent case. Uh, P case, I'm going to guess here. It's just not that many. I saw a lot of fantasy casting, so I don't know if there was much in there or it got picked already, um, but I at least grabbed this one. Uh, this is this is a really good looking main line. This one's got all kinds of potential. Sort of been wanting to uh, try to practice uh, doing wide body. You know how the, some of the guys 
put the uh, some sort of putty or filler, sand it, make it wide body. I thought this could be a cool potential for that. Um, yeah, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that set, see what you guys thought about it. I thought it was a, it was a fun, cool little find today, unexpected, you know. That collector I ran across today, super cool. You know, he wasn't trying to take everything, so I got those two in there. These three. Which one's your favorite? Mine's this Eclipse. I'll always love uh, R33s. S14's pretty nice, but it just seems like those wheels are really dull. And it's just interesting that they're offering five packs of Real Rider wheels. I don't know, just something I thought about. I guess we'll see in the uh, later coming sets, you know, if they put plain wheels on them too, but I don't know, just a fun, quick little video. Look over some cool stuff I found. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.